Hi there and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. If you watched my latest Pando's eyeshadows update then you will know that I have hit pan in all of my palettes which is you know the biggest goal I had for this year. So it's incredibly exciting uh, <laughs> and I thought what better time is there to show your whole collection I've never done that before I know that a lot of people have shown their whole collections um, but I've never done that before I thought about it and I just felt like this was the best time to do it so that you can see all the pans but that also means that you will actually see all of my palettes so it's like a two-in-one and it just seems seamless in in one way so I have several piles here. I have a huge pile here, one huge pile here. I have a little pile here, a pile there. And then I have like three um, goodie box drawers in front of me with a pile on top of that. I have like, what, 70 palettes or something. So let's get into it. Uh, this is not only eyeshadow palettes. I will say it is also face palettes with eyeshadow in them. Not too many though. So let's start off with some face palettes. I have like three or four of them here. Um, so this is the Bare Necessities Phase Zero and, um, and this is how it looks. So you can see that I have a pan here in the silver shade. This is a lovely palette. I have used it a little bit, not too much though, so I, I can't give the best review. Oh, maybe I should have actually taken some time to um, clean my palettes but yeah I don't have time for that right now so you're not going to get that. So if you hate dirty palettes maybe this video isn't for you <laughs> but anyway um yeah I can't wait to continue to use this next up we have this makeup mecca hey honey palette it's also a face palette like I said because that's what we're doing right now and we have a pretty huge pan in this shimmery beige pink shade here I haven't used this palette almost at all except for that shade so I can't really tell uh, if I like the whole palette, but that shade was very nice. Also, you will see that I am going in between brands. It's not like I'm, I'm showing you all my Odin's Eye palettes first or anything like that. First, I have my face palettes, like I said, but underneath that, I have palettes that I've been working on recently. Then I have my drawers in front of me because I, I want to know what I have in every drawer. So I don't want to just pull everything out. Then I have like a pile with bigger palettes that I have in a little shelf system that I built and then I have my Odin's eye palettes and I have some ZZ palettes and so there is a little bit of uh, of an order but you know it's not what you're going to be used to probably <laughs> because many people have like all of their palettes from one brand and they show them which is probably more organized but I'm going to do it this way so that I know what I'm working on and stuff. Um, here is from Sense Beauty. It isn't really called anything. This is how it looks. We have a pan in this rosy brownie shade here. And other than that, I haven't used any other shade, I think, which is a little bit sad. And other than that, I think those were my face palettes. So let's go through the things that I've been working on recently. This is the ZC palette from the British Museum. This is called the Papyrus palette, I think. And this is how it looks. So maybe you won't be able to see too much, but we have a pan in this glitter shade up here. Other than that, I have used, you know, maybe a couple of shades in here, but not too much. From Too Faced, we have the Natural Matte palette. I am working on it. Currently, I'm trying to hit pan on this Lace Teddy, but I have a pan on this Heaven and Cashmere Bunny already. This is very, very hard pressed, so I can use this a lot uh, before we're even hitting pan on it. So the shades that I have obviously been using most are these two, but I've also used this one, Honey Butter, pretty much, so. Yeah, I like this palette. It's a very nice face palette, I would say. Uh, all of these browns are pretty good, or all of these cool toned brown, I would say. They go very well in my eyebrows. This was a nice powder. This is a nice blending out shade. I bet these would look good as bronzers. You know, <laughs> you could use it as a face palette. Another one from CZ. This is my pan that palette in order. So this is how it looks. I have two pens here and I have 
uh, started working on this light almost white shade and I really like this color story. I love that there are some purples and, and pinks. We have a pop of blue which is kind of out of place but because we have some purpley shades as well it's not as out of place as you know when you have a whole palette with neutrals and then poof there's a blue like it it looks really strange oftentimes but since we have some purples that's fine uh can't wait to you know hit all of the pants then we have the espresso yourself i have this in my throwback 30 i think I'm trying to hit pan in three additional shades this is how it looks now um, so we do have pan in three shades right now, and I'm trying to hit pan on two more for that, um, for that, uh, project. I'm not sure what I think about this. Uh, I have used it pretty much. I really like this one as an eyeliner, but, um, other than that, you know, I don't know. I don't, I still don't know what I think about it. I like this one as well, the chai kind of beige champagne -y color. I think I'm going to try to hit pan on that one and maybe one of these brown shades that I can have in my brows. Then we have from Juvia's Place and this is the Saharan palette. And I have hit pan in this uh, green shade here called Kia. I'm working on Katsina. I think I'm very close to hitting pan on that one. Uh, this is very like out of my comfort zone, most of these colors because it is a more intense palette, both because Juvia's Place is like, they do have intense colors, they have very opaque colors, um, but also because these are like more colorful shades than I am used to. But yeah, I do like having some options, you know, when I need it. From Odin's Eye, we have the Saga of Freya palette. This is the Chapter 2 Cat with a Golden Carriage, the Cat's Breath palette, written by Odin's Eye. Long name. This is how it looks. I have pan in this wool ball here, trying to get pan in soft, I think, or cat star, who knows. Also, if you are afraid that you will get spoilers, don't be worried because um, I'm actually filming this before I film all of the other, uh, <laughs> all of the other videos for this past month. So you will already have seen those, those videos. If you watch them, of course. I mean, I can't guarantee you've seen anything before. <laughs> and in that case, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, then yes, this is a big spoiler, you know, in every single palette. This is the Vintage Glam Remix by Gloss Gods. This is my first and only palette with Gloss Gods that I have. I absolutely love it. I love this color story. I just hit pan on this one today. Oh, the stories. Um, and I have a pan in here as well. I love it so, so much. I think this is one of my favorite palettes. Both the color story, but the shimmers are, oh, they're so nice. I think they're the best shimmers ever. Then we have another Juvia's Place palette, and this is The Magic by Juvia's. I have seen many people pan this palette. I really, really enjoy it. I have three pans in here. I have used all of the shades um, several times, actually. I think I had it for a level three project and now I have it for another, you know, usage, like a, a no pan left behind style project as well. Sorry again for it being a little bit dirty, but you know, it is what it is. I do think there is something special about Juvia's Place and their you know, color saturation or whatever you should call it. I don't know. But anyway, I do think it's it's something special. We have a little Charlotte Tilbury, uh, the Exaggerized palette with four shades in it. I have pan in this one. This is a baby panda palette for me. So I'm trying to finish this off. I started just a few months ago. We have this, um, oh, what's it called? Rose Garden from ZC. This is a new palette and um, this is how it looks. So I really love how this looks. Um, I hope you can see the colors really well because these are gorgeous. I have used them so, so much this past month and um, yeah, met my goal in my level up project for that. I also have my Panda palette that I'm trying to hit pan on in every single shade. This is from e.l.f. I don't know what it's called. It's like a, a black pocket uh, palette. I don't know if it has a name, like it doesn't say anywhere on this anyway. And I think I got this for free from someone. 
so I don't think I got a sleeve or anything. But anyway, you can see all of the pants that are in here. <laughs> Gorgeous, right? Yeah, I am so happy with how this looks right now. This is the Too Faced Best Year Ever from 2018. I am working on Halo. I haven't done it in months, but I think I have it in my Beauty A to Z. And we have Marshmallow up here with a pan. So I love this color story. Um, especially the rosy part, like, oh, that would be lovely. But I haven't used this almost at all. Oh, this is a face palette, by the way. <laughs> but it's one of my biggest ones, so I had it at the bottom. But yeah, I just love these. I would love to play around more with this one, as I would with kind of all of my palettes. That's why I have them. Um, this is the Cool Down palette by W7, the coolest shades. And um, I am going to do like... Um, a no pan left behind on this one as well. I think in my throwback 30. And um, I haven't started that yet, but I I love cool shades. I think this looks very wintry, so I think I will get some pretty good use out of it now when I've actually hit pan in all of my palettes and I can just play around a little bit more until the end of the year. And uh, yeah, I just love silvers. And oh, this one is a great shade as well. It has like gold shimmers in it, I think. Like, I hope you can see that, but it's hard to show. But anyway, yeah, I, I love these cool tones. So can't wait to play around with that one. Also, I have a pan there and a pan there. If you couldn't see that, sometimes it's hard to see in a palette when you show it on camera and, you know, you don't really know what what the audience will see, you know, <laughs> and where the focus will be. And this is the Technic Wow Factor Remastered Face Palette. And this is my pan, that huge palette that I'm trying to finish. I started it a few months ago, so I haven't come that far, but it still looks pretty impressive with these big pans over here. And I have some, you know, big pans and a little bit of a pan showing here that I just hit like a week ago or something. Uh, yeah. I'm really excited for this one. So this is the rest of the pile of the things that I have been working on lately. This is the Trifle Cosmetics Praline Palette. Looks like this. This is a little bit too dark for me. If I would declutter anything, this would go. But I just don't do declutters. <laughs> so I use one shade at a time and try to, you know, work with them the best I can. We have the Elf Berry Bad Palette. I have two pants in here really love these shades, especially this one. Gorgeous. I've been kind of wearing the same shade for a whole month because I had three of the kind of same shade in different palettes that I was trying to, um, to hit pan on this month. <laughs> so it's been fun. I've really liked it though, so it wasn't that big of a hassle. We have the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde. The text had worn off pretty much. Uh, and this is how mine looks. So I have a pan here, here, there, and yeah, those are the three pans that I have. I have a little bit of a dip going on in this one. I think I've used this 70 times and I don't have a bigger dip than this. <laughs> it's pathetic. I think I hit pan on these 70 uses in or something, and this was a lot easier really really love this this is very different as well this is one of the more different palettes in my collection it looks so bright but you still have some some neutral shades as well so you can create neutral looks golden looks purpley plummy you know green to bluish colors like you have so many options with this and it's just breathtaking i think it has to do with the packaging as well it's heavy and you know this is it looks like glass, so it looks really, really like sophisticated and expensive. Love this one. Then we have the Elva 2 Mini Ocean Palette from Odin's Eye. This is how it looks. And um, as much as I like looking at it, these are really not my colors. I love a silver, but that's kind of where it ends with my love here. I think I can use this one and get some really good use out of it. But these four shades, it's just not me. Maybe I can use these uh, shimmery shades on my on my nails. I'm using one from Gloss Gods today. And um, yeah, I do have a little bit of a pan showing right there. But yeah, this is also one that I would probably declutter if I did a declutter. 
These are two new palettes. I have another one of these, but oh, I gotta show you. Hmm, this is, oh, I have it here. This is my old one, this is my new one. Got it in a glossy box. This I got recently in a declutter pile. This is the old one that I got in the glossy box. This is how, probably how it should look. <laughs> Can you spot the difference? <laughs> So I have like three blacks here and here we got like brownish shades down there. So uh, I really like the white one and I have been using this one this month as well and hit pan on that one. And here I have pan in the white one. So now I've shown you this one as well. That's good. Um, but yeah, I do like it. It's, it's nice for neutral looks. We have from Steel London, Style London, I don't know really like this one as well. I've used this a lot during this past month. We have a pan there, love this shade. It's not often that I rave about um, matte shades, but there you go. It's a really good one. And last but not least, we have this candy haze. I have so many pans showing in here. There you go, there you can see. Just hit pan on the sweet one, the green one. And uh, yeah, love this palette. I would consider this for a Panda palette project in the future. Uh, I wanted to do it this year, but it didn't fit the theme with the Fantastic Ladies. So hopefully next year, maybe I will do it even without them. I, I don't know, I just wanna pan this. It feels like I could use this all year around. You have some cooler tones, some warmer tones, and most of it is very, you know, wearable for an everyday look. And the harder ones I can use in other ways. I've used this on my nails and it was actually very nice. So yeah, I just feel like I could use this up and it would be very different from the other Panda palettes that I have, have had here on my channel because they have been very, very brown. At least you have some pops of color here, you know? So let me know if you would like to see this as a Panda palette. So where do we continue? Let's continue with my Odin's Eye palettes here. We have the Mini Sky palette. Looks like this. We have a pan there. I haven't used the other shades. We have the Erd palette, which looks like this. And I have pan in both of these shades and this brown here. I have used the green ones as well. And oh, I think this looks amazing. I'm just not that into greens, um, but yeah this on my nails would be gorgeous as well, I think. But yeah, I love how this looks. So even if I wouldn't have it on my eyes, which I do use it occasionally, but even if I wouldn't, I would probably use it because I love how this looks. <laughs> so love that one. We have the Verdandi palette. Looks like this. I have panning both of these shades here in the middle. Can you spot the theme? You know, I always go for the middle ones because they are light shimmers and they're probably toppers but i just use a lot of it to make them more opaque and you know create their own shadows and that's how i like to use them they get really sparkly but i haven't used the other shades this is my newest one from uh odin's i i haven't been that into the newer releases but this one really caught my eye because Look at this color story. It makes me so happy to just look at. This is one of my few really, really colorful palettes. Love this so, so much. We have the Elva 2 palette. This one is also pretty colorful. I haven't used it that much, but I do like it. I do like watching it and stuff. I, I wouldn't use it that often though, I think. However, when it comes to this, this, mm, this I love. This I love. How many pans do I have in here? Did I have it for a level five or something in my level up? One, two, three, four. I probably had it for my level four in the level up project. I love these two mats as well. This is the best mat I've ever tried, I think. So these two together, oh, it's so gorgeous. I want to, I really want to use this one again soon. So let's go for the drawers now. I have three here. Uh, this is how I store them. These are, you know, smaller sized palettes. So we have the Icon by Absolute New York. We have two pants in here. It's pretty old. I think I got it for like 10 cents or something. Um, I don't know, like it, it was ridiculous. It was less than a dollar and uh, it was new and I, I love it. I love some of the shades in here. I'm not sure I would 
finish the whole thing because these are not really shades I would go for but all kind of all of the others maybe not these two but some purples some lighter purples or pinks some neutrals yeah I think I can use this a lot more before before I'm tired of it so we have the W7 buff take two I have two pans in here I haven't really used the rest of the palette which is a shame when I bought it, I was so into how this looked and I still am. So I would love to use this more. Um, then we have, let's just take this out. We have this one. This is the Technic Brownie Points, I think it's called. Yes. And um, I wanted to hit pan in every shade last year. Um, but this was like for a roulette project pan. So it wasn't my pan that palette. So I, I just wanted to see how many pans I could get throughout the year, you know, in my roulette project pan. So I actually got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pans. That is not bad. So it's looking really loved and I've used, I think I've used all of the shades at least once and it looks really loved and it's broken. So I would like to use it more. Um, to maybe one day get it out. Okay, so then we have the Catrice Cosmetics Superbia Volume 1 Warm Copper Eyeshadow Edition. And this is how it looks. This is right up my alley. It's very cool toned, I would say, everything except for this one. Um, but other than that, I would say it's pretty cool toned. And uh, yeah, I do like this one a lot. Here we have a ZC palette, the ice cream palette. And this is how it looks. It's very different from my other palettes. It's very like a grayish green bluish color story going on here. And we have a huge pan showing here. I think I might've had this for a level up project as well for level one. So I used every shade, I think. I think I have used all of the shades. Anyway, very different. It was nice to get because it's a little bit different, you know? Sometimes you get all all the neutrals all the time and that's not that fun either. We have the Foil Me Creamy Eyeshadows by Makeup Mika. I have a big pan there. And uh, yeah, I wasn't too impressed by it, but it was nice. It was okay. Then we have the Ciate London, the nine piece eyeshadow palette. Isn't that an original name? <laughs> And this is how it looks. I have hit pan on this shade and I have used the other shades a little bit. We have the Pretty Mattes from Makeup Mika. I have hit three pans in here and I have used the other shades at least three times for a level three in the Level Up Project Pan. Do you, you know, <laughs> spot the um, similarities? LH Cosmetics, the Shimmer Saga. Oh, these are so nice. These are so shimmery. Um, there's something special about the LH Cosmetics. I said that the Gloss Gods shades were the best. This is a high contender, I would say. They are very different, so I wouldn't maybe compare them. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should say they're the best at what they do um, and be done with it because this is something different as well. <laughs> it's really, really different. So I have a pan in here and then I have some other shades here. I haven't really tried them out that much yet, so... Maybe it was just that one that was really good. Who knows? This one I showed. And then we have the um, Alice in Wonderland palette. What is this called? Dreamland eyeshadow palette. Let's see if I can open it up. This is how it looks. It also has this kind of mauve shade here. I love this kind of shade. This kind of purpley mauve shade that I can have in my crease. And it just gives enough color to do something with your eyes but it's not too much it doesn't give you too much color um but it's not a brown you know so oh, i just love it love it i'm not so impressed by the other shades though and that was the first drawer so the second drawer oh we have an odin's eye here again i'm just pressing everything in that i can here <laughs> um this is the norns palette this is too colorful for me. These are too colorful for me to use on an everyday. These are too dark. Um, this is way too colorful as well. The only shades I feel like I would actually use are these four. Well, these three really. The Pink Chameleon, Optimism, and Mist. 
The other ones are like really out of my comfort zone and I have used this one though and it looked gorgeous but it's such a rare occasion where I would use a shade like that so <laughs> it's really a special occasions palette for me. I'm glad I have it though. I don't think I have these kinds of shades in any other palette so I am happy that I have it. But let's just say if I lost all of my palettes I wouldn't rebuy this one. Then we have the Signature Full Face Multi-Use Palette by Makeup Mecca. This is how it looks. We have two pans showing in here. And yeah, I have used, I, I think I've used pretty much all of it and I like it. Very basic. We have the Pro Peach Origin from Catrice. I haven't used this very much at all. I have only really used this one, the Graceful shade. Really like that one though. And Catrice is a very nice eyeshadow brand. This is by Revolution. This is the Mesmerize palette. I got it in an advent calendar last year. I have only used this shade and only in the little corner here to hit pan. Yeah, it's a little bit sad. I really want to, you know, play around, especially with these lavender, purpley, mauvey shades over there. I would love to play around with that. We have the Tarte palette. This is the Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. This is how it looks. I have a huge pan. Well, not a huge pan. I have a big pan here. Um, but other than that, I haven't really used many of these shades. Not that many times anyway. And we have the Birthday Edition palette from Yves Saint Laurent or something. Like you can see, I have used it pretty much. I do like this. It's okay. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. This one. Ooh, it feels like everything is baked in here, but I don't think it is. Um, but this is from, is it Technic? No, H&M. And this is called All This For Your Beauty. I guess it's called. And I've taped this because, uh, yeah, this is loose. But yeah, I have hit pan on this shade here. These two together are pretty nice. This one all over the lid was actually pretty nice. I have swatched this and I have been like, this looks very dark, kind of this whole palette. So one part of me is like, this is really not me. And another part of me when I swatched it was like, I could easily use up half of this palette. Well, not easily, but you know, the shades in here, I could at least use half of them pretty easily. So I am keeping it. And in one way, I do look forward to using it again. In another way, like, I feel like it's old. I feel like it would be really hard to hit another pan in here. I don't know. I feel like maybe these are harder here in the middle than the shadows, you know, on the sides. I don't know if they're pressed differently. Anyway, the last in this box is the Icon Mini by Absolute New York. And it looks like this. So I have hit pan on this lightest shade here, as always. And then we have some gold shades and this brown and black shade. This really isn't for me. Like, this is another one I would declutter if I did a declutter. Which we all know I won't. <laughs> Not right now, at least. Maybe next year. Maybe. So here's the last drawer. We have All That Matters from Makeup Mecca. I have used this middle shadow up. I have used these two shades as well, I think. And the other ones I haven't really played around that much. They're really not my colors. So, yeah. This is the Tartlet in Bloom. And as you can see, it's pretty beaten up. <laughs> um, and I have hit pan in this light shimmer here called funny girl i do love how this smells though it smells like chocolate and uh yeah still smells like chocolate so i guess they're fine <laughs> and this is the sparkling rosé by makeup makeup love how this one looks um i got this one in a in a project so i used this one i think i used maybe that one and that one this one i have used at least once but I really want to play around with this palette more. I hope I can get this in my Level Up Project Pan so that I, you know, have to use all of the shades. Um, because otherwise, it's it's pretty hard to just take a palette and, and use it if I don't have it in any project. Because I feel like I have so many projects going on and I, I do want some progress in those other palettes as well. 
The problem is really that I have so many palettes that I want to play around with and it's not really possible to play around with all of it, you know, every day. <laughs> so here we have the Back to Basic Burn Tones by Makeup Makeup. I have repressed these ones because they shattered a few times. This one too, I think, but I hit pan in these ones. This one I was really, really um, proud of because it's, uh, it's a shade I wouldn't go for normally. So an orange is nice to hit pan on. We have the Sleek Garden of Eden palette. This is how I think I was introduced to Sleek. The um, mirror is broken though, very sad. I love these green shades. I really like how this purple looks in in the pan, but I don't think it gives off such a nice purpley vibe on the eyes. So I think I think it looks better than it actually swatches and how it appears on my eyes, but the greens are lovely, so so lovely. So that is my Garden of Eden palette. I have this Max and More palette. Does this have a name? The 12 color eyeshadow palette. No. <laughs> Max and More eyeshadow palette. That's the name. I have pen in this green one, but otherwise I haven't really touched that many of the shades. It is getting pretty old. I do like how it looks though. It would be nice to play around with that one as well, but I feel like this is a, a pan those eyeshadows palette where I would use one shade at a time. I really wouldn't use only this for one look because I, I don't feel like I have all the shades that it takes, you know, to create a whole look really. Um, but who knows? Maybe in the future, we'll see. And we have the Essence Follow Your Heart. I have pan in this one. I haven't really used the other shades that much either. And then we have the Tardis Pro Amazonian Clay Palette. And I think I have two pans in here. Yes, we have in Chic and Glam. And I haven't used that much of the other shades, but it looks really nice. I do actually have some plum shades. I didn't think I had that many plum shades, but hmm, I should play around with this more. And that was it. I do have some eyeshadow primers in here as well. So that is what I have in my drawers. Let's look at my ZZ palette. Okay, I have one other Essence palette. This is the Essence Never Give Up Your Daydream and this is like a magic palette. You never know what you'll get. You know, these are not the shades that actually come out when you use them. Um, and I don't remember what shades they are. <laughs> but it may be that this is like a, a blue, this might be a green, or I think this yellow is actually a green or something. And, was, it's a little bit strange. <laughs> now for some ZZ palettes or more of them because I have been working on some of them. This is the Cat palette or I think is the Jaguar palette it's called on their website. And it looks like this. So I have used two of the shades which I've hit pan on. I do like how this one looks. And I mean, look at that packaging. Mm -mm -mm. ZZ knows how to make their products look very expensive and feel expensive. These are really heavy and they are nice. This is the Scarab um, Scarab palette. I've hit pan on these two shades right there. This is a little bit darker than I would usually go for, but you know, when you get things in advent, or not advent calendar, subscription boxes, and you get something like this, you're like, you're happy, you know, because it's so gorgeous. Is it something I would buy myself? No, but you know, I would probably not buy anything by myself, not full price anything. There's very few things I would pay full price for, especially when you can get it in, uh, in advent calendars or subscription boxes. This is the Cobra palette. This is my favorite one that I got. This might be the first one I got as well, but this is such a lovely fall palette. I used it a lot last year. When I was playing an angel at a gaming convent, I used this all the time. I used the reds. You can hardly see that I've even used the reds, but red, orange, yellow, used it all the time. And then I, I topped it off with these shimmers. So, so lovely. Love this. And <laughs> even, you know, when I look at this, it's not something that I would be excited for, I think but because I have used it and tried it out and you know, I've just fallen in love with it. That is the fun thing with mystery boxes is that you get to try out things that you wouldn't buy. Even if I would buy things full price, 
some of these things I would never buy and then I would never get to try them out and I would never, you know, fall in love with them. <laughs> so that would be, you know, really sad. I'm very happy to have been able to do this. From the Palace Identity Collection, we have the, I think, Royal Bloom palette. This is gorgeous. Looks like this. I have pan in this one, as you can see. Mm, so lovely. And again, the packaging is impeccable, gorgeous. I have the mini cat palette here. I have no idea what it's called on the website. This is where I have my pan and it's really the only shade that I I like or tolerate in this palette. I have used the other ones. I tried to use it for a look because it looked very much like the the Charlotte Tilbury one that I showed you before, the exaggerized one and it's just not the same. This is also one of those that I would actually declutter if I did a declutter. And then this is the Honey Dream palette, I think. Um, it doesn't say here, but I think it's called the Honey Dream palette. And it's, you know, one of those magical ones that you can see all the glitter moving around in. Mm -mm -mm. So it looks really fun and of course heavy as well. I am not as wowed in reality as I was when I saw someone else get it. Um, it's just something about these colors. They weren't as impressive in person as they were on the website or, you know, when people showed it, I thought it looked really cute. In reality, I'm like, mm, I don't know. I don't know what I think about it. Like I can use all of the shades, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not that excited about it. But the packaging, mm -mm -mm. And then if I haven't forgotten anything, this is my last pile. First up we have from Elizabeth Arden. This is the eyeshadow duo called Peacock. It is a magnetic one. So I guess, you know, maybe it wouldn't be considered a palette, but you know, it's more than one shade. So I count it as palette. I also don't have a magnetic palette to put it in. Um, but anyway, I have a little pan there and I have used this a couple of times. This one, I will say, I feel like I could use that pretty easily. When I hit pan on this, I used it a lot in my inner corners. It doesn't really give off the blue color that you would think from a shadow like this. This one, I don't know how I would use up though. <laughs> Maybe as an eyeliner. We have the Daring Nude by Catrice. I was really surprised when I used this shimmer. It reminded me of the Gloss Gods shimmer and it was gorgeous. I've also hit pan in this lid setting shade here. Haven't used it as much as I would like to, as is the custom with all of these. This one is from Revolution. I have two pans showing, but I've also used this one, you know, without having it in a project because I was working on these two and I was like, let's use this one and this one and this one and it will be gorgeous. And it was. This is called the Reloaded Velvet Rose Palette. I really like how this one looks. Then we have the Sunkissed Champagne Eyes Palette. And uh, oh, this was a cheap palette, but I really like it. I really, really do. I brought this with me when I traveled last year and it was just really nice. <laughs> so I do have a pan in here, but I do have some smaller dips going on in several shades. So yeah, I'm happy with that. We have the Diary Memories from Makeup Mecca. This is how it looks. So mostly neutral with a pop of blue. Really like how these ones look. I haven't used these on my eyes yet, I think though. Um, I think I've used these two. I would really like to play around more with this palette. <laughs> Common theme. Then we have this Essence palette, the Konnichiwa Tokyo, which means hello Tokyo. And I have a little pan in this one. It's a very, very mini one. Uh, this is what I talked about, you know, it's very neutral and suddenly a pop of blue. Like, would I use that with these other shades? Probably not. <laughs> Maybe with a gold shade, but mm, I, yeah, I don't understand it. We have another one from the same collection, I guess. This is the Essence ALA palette. And I have a little pan in there. Now we have which side from Essence and I have a lot of pans in here. 
and they're big. Look at this. I'm very happy with this one. I really enjoy this palette as well. I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought. I don't really love how these ones look. They look sick, you know, and I don't really know what I will get out of it. Uh, if they will just give shimmer or, you know, if they will alternate the shadow somehow. I don't know. And I don't really like not knowing what I get in an eyeshadow when I look at it. But all in all, I really, really like that palette. Then we have the Ciari London. I am a woman. What's your superpower? And this is how that one looks. I have talked about this before, but I think this is a mess. I love the color story. This looks like it should be a comic book you know, an old comic book. And in that case, it would be like black, red, and white. Uh, but then you come into here and it's very like muted colors, uh, which is not very comic book-esque. And then you have all of these names of women that are supposed to have, you know, done an impact on the world somehow. But if you think that these women are women that stand out, why do you have such blending in shades like why don't you have like pops of color everywhere i would think that you know a colorful woman and i don't mean skin color but if you have a colorful personality you would get colorful colors like i don't know how the colors go together with these women i don't know how the, these women or or the colors go together with this theme and you know i just think the theme is a mess but i love the color story i would love to play around with this one more uh again <laughs> this is the last palette my first ever panda palette this is the day to slay by iconic london and it looks like this it is so loved and i you know it is not only used it is actually loved Mm. love 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 yep so that was it actually i forgot when i recorded everything else that i have actually had pen on this one as well this is the phase zero the metal foil duo and it looks like this i have hit pen on this one really really nice love especially this um this rosy shade here well, what do you know? I found another palette. So I will insert this clip somewhere in the video. This is the Spotlight from Ukambe. This is my, I would say, my first colorful palette that I ever owned. This one and the Exotic Pop palette that I had to declutter last year. Um, but this one is still going and it's going good. And uh, yeah, this is how it looks. I'm normally not that into rainbow palettes and those colorful palettes, but once in a blue moon, I find a colorful palette that I don't think just looks messy, but actually beautiful to look at. And this is one of them. Um, and I have really enjoyed using it the little time I have been using it. I have two pans in here, but I haven't really used that many other shades. I've used these two. These two have a little dip going on as well and this one, but it's like I can see that I've used it like once. Uh, these ones I've used more, I can tell you that, but I don't think I've even touched the other shades, which is a shame. Yeah, I want to say I don't know why, but I, I really didn't use colorful palettes before this, um, before this channel that I started last year or so. That's the reason, and uh, that's the reason I want this challenge or this um, this channel because I want to, I want to become better. I want to, you know, be better at this hobby. I want to be able to do those colorful looks and stuff, and I want to push myself out of my comfort zone now and then. So, back to where I was. Whew, that was a long video, and even if I edit it a bit, I think it's going to be very long. So, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy this style of video. Let me know what other kinds of videos you would like to see. Would you like to see how I store things? Would you like to see, like, get ready with me's or, you know, whatever. Would you like me to do some, you know, challenges with these products or whatever? Also, I had a goal. If I hit pan in all of my palettes, which I have, I could buy the Exotic Pop palette. I have had that in the past. It's a very, very big palette. Lots of shades. Love it. And I have had it for maybe five years before I decluttered it. And I had already 
been to King's Beauty web shop and I saw that they had it. So I decluttered mine. <laughs> I decluttered mine and I said that if I hit pan in all my palettes, I can buy it again. And literally like the month after they had redone the whole page, like the whole web shop and they had discontinued that palette. <laughs> so I can't buy that palette anymore. However, I am so, so interested in the Natasha Denona. Is it, I need a nude palette, the new one? I love it. Uh, I have talked about being very into the glam palette, but I did realize that it's probably too dark for me and I wouldn't use it as much as I would have liked to. And that would have been the price for, you know, going under a thousand products, like all in all, my hair care, skin care, body, um, bath, makeup, like all of those. Uh, if I went under a thousand products, I could buy myself a Natasha Denona palette and I really wanted a glam one, but I don't really want it anymore. And especially when I saw the, I need a nude palette or I need the nudes palette or something like that. I was like, this is right up my alley. I really, really want that one. And then I want the retro one. So I think what I will do is buy one of them, probably in the nudes palette. Um, I will buy that one for this challenge. And then I will buy the other one, either when I have used up enough to have under a thousand products, or if I, you know, hit another big goal, uh, maybe I can buy that one or something like that. We'll see. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that will be my price. I will buy a Natasha Denona palette. Um, but I will wait for Black Friday, I think. I think. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And then I'll see you in the next one. Have a great evening. Bye.